Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. Take my hand, and we will go limping. I'm gonna get shot. I think I'm a bloody zombie, won't I? Come on, Clem. Why is she not coming? Let me clue. There you are, girl. Oosh. I found the bastard! Are we going to die? No. No. I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. You don't oh, damn, hick. you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Uh, there's a lot in the forest. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... I'm just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh, hello, fat man. Oh, shit. It's Chet. Let's go. Fat get Chet. to my car. <laughs> go. Shoot me, lad. Pussy. Lovely night. Back in the cop car again. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. He brought all the donuts, man. Take care, you two. You too, man. Learn to shoot. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, we just need a place to stay. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So, it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? No, I'm just some guy. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. All right, man. Let's 
got a battery. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? Uh, Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, it's Herschel. <sighs> How'd this happen? Um, car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Prison. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Uh... Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got oh, another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. She's not my daughter. I've How told did you get your times. name, darling? Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Oh, they're all in that barn. It smells like... Poo. She... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. No. That was a swear. Oh, she's so adorable. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Savannah Unana. Oh, okay. Half of my heart is in Savannah Unana. Let's get some sleep. I love you, baby. <laughs> Get up. I'm up, boy. Mm. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. For the fifth time. Famously. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, God, you're annoying. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Because he's a duck with an eye. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? Oh, Word damn, is, she you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. My god, that kid is annoying. Bugger I off. can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alright. You don't you touch her. She's mine. Oh, let's talk to her. Yes, speak. Hey there, girls. Um you actually look you relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah, it's not bad. 
How's the say? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Not really. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. What do you so, do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Bloody idiot. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Later, girls. Can we talk to Clem? Ah, Clemmy Clow. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Good. Right. Who are we checking up with now? Anyone? Ken? Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, need any help? Need any help? No, oh, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. All right, I'll See do. You. I ain't interested in you, Ken. Right, where are we going? Fence? Ding, 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 ding. Ah, what, what am I doing? Jesus Christ. Oh, wait. I'm not talking to him. Oof. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. All right. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes and pull the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yeah. I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm then just glad we're getting it. this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I haven't got a family. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No problemo. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright, I'm going to help him then. Not 
talking to you. Can I walk faster? Look at me go. It's Hershey Burr. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Oh, shut up. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? With my legs. On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? She stumbled on me, really. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Oh, Jesus. No! Oh, I'll get my gun! What's going on? Oh, damn. Oh, my God. He's running him over. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill and save the kids. Jesus Christ. Ah! Ah! Wham! Go on, Ken. I got you. Now it's on. Get this tractor off of me! Please, help me! What a please. little idiot. Oh, <laughs> he shot his head right off. Oh, damn. I mean, we had to save the kid, didn't we? Bloody idiot. You alright, mate? Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. What? I was worried about the boy. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out! And never come back. Okay. I'm gonna win this episode so day, guys. Thanks for watching. I did the right thing, I think. Stupid little annoying kid. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. All right, let's go. Cool.